we are uh, going to visit the Coconino County Fair up here in northern Arizona. Let's see how it stacks up to the Wayne County, Ohio Fair. <laughs> Hey, what up guys? So, today I am out with the girl for her birthday and we are uh, going to visit the Coconino County Fair up here in northern Arizona. Uh, Coconino is the county that encompasses Flagstaff and uh, the actual town of Grand Canyon, which is where we live. So, let's see how it stacks up to the Wayne County, Ohio Fair. <laughs> So I, this is actually my first time, I think, at a county fair, maybe. Um, I might have gone to one in Montgomery County back in Maryland, um, but I don't remember. So. I do remember seeing all the, the commercials for Westchester County Fair, though, when I, when I used to live in New York. Oh, well, CBD. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so CBD, yeah. I, I, that, that I guess, would be, like, in a gray area, but I'm surprised that, that they still, that they actually had hemp. Yeah. Because, like, considering that the fact that, you know, marijuana and, and all that is still actually illegal in Arizona. Yeah. will be sold for market. Um, it's just part of the 4-H project. Um, you know, usually those kids understand going in into these projects that, you know, that's usually how it ends up. They, they're sold at auction. Um, usually the people who are bidding on them, you know, understand, you know, where they're, uh, like where this, you know, in this case, cow, um, sometimes pigs. Um, also, sheep scope um, but uh, because of that they'll actually like bid uh, way over what the animals were uh -huh. and then the, the kids will um, get that money um, but you know a lot of these kids go into these projects and they know that that's how it's gonna end but it's still really hard on them like, uh, I, would, I, I would expect so yeah like I, I have friends back home in Ohio whose kids are in 4-H and they always talk about you know this time of year their their kids showing their their animals and then um, you know having you know tears as they they leave them to the auction because Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit hungry. I could, I could use something to eat. 
they've actually got quite a bit of uh, food stalls here. I'm surprised. Hey, they have sheep. Yeah. Hey, I, I learned something from that girl back there in the goat barn. Goats are part of the deer family. I, I heard not, that. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, I heard her say that. Yeah. That's I just picked up the best thing for me about carnival food. Turkey leg. Love these things. <laughs> so difficult to find now. So difficult to find. Ah, I, I, I almost feel like I should I I need to like act like Paolo. <laughs> I go into a Paolo mode. Look at this turkey leg! It's so big! I can't wait to eat it! <laughs> That's a bit exaggerated, but yeah. <laughs> I really am that excited about this leg. Though. Oh my god, look at this turkey leg. I'm so excited. I can't wait to bite into it. It looks so succulent. Oh my gosh. It's definitely very juicy. I can taste the juices. Mm. Yeah, definitely barbecue. Mm. Wow. And it's so moist. You can still see the juices right there. Can you see that? <laughs> Paulo, we love your videos. We do. We really do. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Paulo, if you're watching, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, that turkey leg was actually pretty succulent. It's really good. Um, I tried to eat as much of it as I could, but there's like a bunch of like quills or spines or something that uh, like made out of cartilage or whatever that prevent me from getting too much of it. Unlike Paolo, I'm not really a cartilage person. So, um, but it was still delicious. Um, and I'm working on these fries now. She left me like a pound of fries to eat. So. Yeah, I, I left a lot. <laughs> what can I say? I get full. Yeah, but a pound and a half. I mean, like, it sounds good. <laughs> it does sound good. It does taste good. Personally, I probably put a little more salt on it. Well, I wasn't sure how much salt you wanted on your half, so I didn't put that much on your half. I put salt on Mickey D's fries. Oh, I usually, I, I usually don't, but sometimes, sometimes, I, some, sometimes I could. Yeah. Yeah. And you know how salty their fries are. Mm. Yeah, usually. Yep. And I like the little strips that these are cut into. 
it makes it a more interesting kind of experience. Yeah. It's not, in fact, yeah. So I can see skin on these, which means that these are actual, oops, that these are actual shredded potatoes. Which are the best kind of fries. So yeah, these are definitely really, really good fries. So now that this song is playing, there's something I really, really need to ask. Okay. Is Footloose still the greatest movie of all time? I have a confession to make. No, the, no. I've the confession, never actually the confession seen is the wrong Footloose. answer. Confession is the wrong answer. I, I've never actually seen Footloose. Correct answer. Okay. The correct answer to my question is it never was. It never was. It never was. Okay. I don't understand. Is it a reference? There's someone who, in the MCU, who hasn't been on Earth in a very long time. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Star-Lord. All right. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, I've only watched... That was in... Was that at the end of Spider-Man, like or no. was it at the beginning of Infinity War? It was the middle of Infinity War. It was, oh, see, it I, was like when they first meet. Tell them about the dance-off to save the universe. What dance-off? It's not a... It's not a... It's not I can footloose the movie. Exactly like footloose. Is it still the greatest movie in history? It never was. I've only seen Infinity War once. Yeah. I thought we saw it twice. I, maybe I saw it twice. I think you saw it twice, because I, I think okay. you watched it without me, and then then went That's back That's my with bad, then. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, I haven't seen it since it was in theaters. Okay. So, I don't remember it that well. I'm like, stop giving me these cryptic hints. I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> just tell me instead of making me guess and feel like I can't remember anything. Hashtag pop culture sending problems. Pop culture what problems? Sending. Sending. This is Japanese. Basically means like sage. Uh, I mean, who's the one who forgot that the orb held the, the power stone? We, we don't was, remember. We, and uh, this one I forgot don't, I don't, that. Well, that, I'm, I'm, you know, on that note, we don't really, we don't really need to know that. The ribbons mean it's delicious. Oh my god, these are these are like the freshest muffins ever. Oh, these muffins look so good. And blueberry, blueberry is my favorite. Banana bread. I see banana bread. So uh, did I get you in trouble with the guy back there? Because I he said something about Ohio, right? Yeah. What do you mean? He said something about Ohio and you were like, oh I'm please I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh yeah, uh, no, um he was. He asked me if I recognized what the the uh, broom corn was, oh, and okay. I said yeah. Okay. And that's yeah. That's when you mentioned that that was like my backyard, basically, which you know is true. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, we were just talking about how like our um, this was the uh, agriculture um, building, um, how you know our building for the agriculture display. It's probably about three times the size, um, which this is a pretty good sized building, you know. It is. It's but, a pretty uh, decent sized building. Yeah, our our agriculture, you know, display. Um, 
isn't always all that full, so this is, you know, actually fairly comparable. Um, but our, our corn stalks that people enter, you know, are usually like twice the height of the ones that were in there. Yeah, and the and ones that were in here, I think, were like six and a half, seven feet tall. Yeah, if that. Yeah, the one was. I can't imagine just a little corn taller that large. Than yeah, and um, also, you know, one of the one of the big draws for our agriculture building back home. Is uh, the, the large pumpkins? Oh yeah. We have some some pumpkin farms in the area that will uh, grow some really large pumpkins and enter them in that fair, which is really cool. Okay. Yeah, so. But yeah, I've been really pleasantly surprised with the the Pocomino County Fair. Um, they've had some really nice displays, slightly smaller than you know the county fair, but you know uh, as far as like variety, you know. Um, yeah, I, I especially, I, I especially feel like like a nothing after seeing the artwork that those kids did. Oh, I know those kids are so talented. Like there were some kindergartners with like better oh artwork God. than yeah, I they had, ever done. They had, uh, they had, um, like school art projects and science projects, and uh, like the kids were super talented from like K through 12, and yeah. they like. Most of them did like stuff I could never even imagine yeah. doing, like even now. Like. Yeah, yeah. I liked uh, going through the um, the home economics building too. Um, they had like three separate like smaller buildings that that uh, you know display was spread out over. Where you know home at home it's like all shoved into one you know building and so. It's, you know, always really packed in there. Um, also, the, the flower displays uh, that we went through, that, you know, is usually one section of that, that building back home as well. So they have that in like three or four different little buildings here, but, you know, back home it's just shoved into one, like, slightly larger building. And so it's always packed in there. Like the, the number of quilts they, they had in there, that would have been in like one little stall. Okay. Yeah, they would have all been like folded up back home. All right. So yeah, we're gonna go hit the Ferris wheel, and my camera's telling me that it's dying. So um, I'll probably record a little bit more later. So yeah, it's time for the carnival. Ah, ah, okay,